Animal protein, especially milk and other dairy products, cause osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a disease in which the body takes calcium from its bones. This leaves the bones thinner and more fragile. The resulting weakness leads to bone fractures. In fact, hip fractures are often used as a reliable indicator of the severity of osteoporosis. This bone disease affects women more frequently than men, especially after menopause. Countries that consume cow's milk and its products also have the highest fracture rates and the worst bone health. If milk is so good for our bones, as we are led to believe, then people who consume milk should have better, stronger and healthier bone structure than others who do not drink as much milk or eat dairy products. The fact is, this is not so. Studies have shown that American women aged 50 years and older have one of the highest rates of hip fractures in the world. The rates of bone fracture are exceeded only in Europe, Australia and New Zealand where the milk consumption is even higher. Researchers at Yale University School of Medicine summarized information on osteoporosis taken from 34 separate surveys in 16 countries that were published in 29 peer-reviewed research publications. The study found that 70% of the bone fracture rate was related to the consumption of animal protein. The reason for this is that animal protein is acidic. The body does not like an acidic environment and begins to neutralize it as soon as possible. To do this, the body uses calcium present in the bloodstream. If not enough calcium is present in the blood, more is taken from bones. This loss results in bone thinning and eventually leads to bone fractures. It has been well known as early as 1880 that animal protein causes excess metabolic acid. Unlike plant protein, which does not cause this acidity in the body. When animal protein consumption is increased from 35 grams to 78 grams per day, the loss of calcium through the kidneys increases by 53%. This 53% increase of calcium of leaving our body is not only disastrous to bone, but also increases the incidence of stones forming in the kidneys, and of course stresses the kidneys by forcing them to get rid of all this calcium. The reason we're told to drink milk is for strong bones. At least that's what the advertising campaigns would have us believe. But over and over, in fact, the latest review was in a journal called the Osteoporosis International, October 2004, which was a meta-analysis, reviewed kind of all the studies done to date, and found, this was done by the World Health Organization, found that low milk drinking was not at all a risk factor for osteoporotic fractures, for breaking a hip or breaking a forearm later in life. So one certainly doesn't need to eat or drink dairy for their calcium. The best absorbed calcium on the planet really is dark green leafy vegetables, these low oxalate dark green leafy vegetables like kale, collards, bok choy, etc. These are loaded with calcium and are absorbed even more than milk and instead of getting the saturated fat and the cholesterol and the potential for growth hormones and antibiotics in the dairy milk, by getting your calcium from plant sources, not the kind of baggage you get then is the fiber and the folate and all the wonderful phytonutrients, these anti-aging, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory compounds found exclusively in the plant kingdom. In 2000, the Department of Medicine at the University of California, San Francisco, published a summary of 87 separate surveys which showed that high intake of vegetables and low intake of animal protein resulted in virtual disappearance of bone fractures. Another study followed 1,000 women for over seven years. Women with the highest animal to plant protein content in their diet had 3.7 times more bone fractures than women with the lowest ratio. 
The women on an animal protein diet also lost bone four times faster than women on plant protein.